Good afternoon and welcome to my show, La Canzona Cucina, which means my singing kitchen, or something like that. Anyway, it works out really well. Today we're going to make ensalada di pomodoro, which means tomato salad. So we use tomatoes. See, this is the tomatoes, the big red thing. And we have onions. We're going to use red onions because we got the tops that you can use, and the onion itself. We have cucumbers, or a cucumber, and Italianil, or Cuban bell peppers. My mother used to call them Danielils, and that's what they use. So we're going to use this and this, and we're going to get it together. But first of all, I have a friend working with me today. Come on, man. Hey, Lou. Hey, pretty good. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Yeah, looking good. How long were you a chef? Um, I haven't been a chef. Since 16. Oh, it's my holster. Ah, you have to. <laughs> Firemen have their jackets and their helmets. And oh, good. So you guys said, come right? on up and cook. I threw my apron on. And good move. Put my knife in my holster. So many years cooking for since I was six, 15, 16 years old, and I'm um, ex. X amount of years. So like five years in the cooking? About two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so first of all, we're going to put some olive oil in the frying pan and put some garlic in the frying pan and toast it because I don't like to put it in the wok because it tastes better toast. So give me a minute. Oh, look what we got. Olive oil time. Olive oil time. It's our favorite. Ooh, we get on over here. Which is like, that's plenty. There we go. A special garlic corn. Yes, it is. What is it? What is that? It aerates it, right? Put the it air on it, it. Mm -hmm. so it doesn't get moldy. It's nice having a chef on television, isn't it? Uh -huh. One question to me, the answer is right. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm nosy. I like That's to learn. Right. I'm, I'm, learning. Learning. I'm learning from you. There goes my there goes a knife. <laughs> okay. Okay. Always wash. Always, always wash, wash everything. Oh, there you go. So how many times have we done this? Always wash and see. Wash. It wasn't just me. Yeah. Every, you got to wash your hands. Good sanitation is important. You're feeding family. You don't want to kill your family. That's true. Well, it, depends. Depends. it depends. It depends. It depends who your family is. Don't kill the ones that owe you money. <laughs> so I'm gonna crush the garlic so we can put this in here, cut the ends off, and I get this one crushed too. <laughs> I like that. Don't kill the ones that owe you money. I like that. Okay. Dump that. Not too much, just enough there. Put it in there until it turns golden brown. We'll be happy and we'll go home safely. What would you like to cut? It's your choice. Um, these onions are beautiful. So these look so tender, we could probably use some of the shoots for flavor I too, I would think right? so, yeah, sure. Okay. So you want to cut into those? I I'll do, start cutting I do. Into Get this out of the way. I'm just going to peel this back because I don't want to lose the tender leaves here. Those tender leaves, da da ba da da. da, da. Oh, well, that happens too. Sometimes things are weird in this place. <laughs> we have the same barber. Yeah, we have the same barber. You can tell by the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> some, of, some of this top is really tender, actually. It is. I'm glad that, because you don't know when you get it that it's going to be this tender, but yeah. that's going to go right in the salad there. So, would you like these diced, though, or would you uh, like it? Uh, um, cut them here Juli and circle Oh, circled. Yeah. That's different too. Yeah, cut, you you got a different way. Then, yeah, just so I can just actually take, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so cut yeah, right. and then circle them. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. You can tell this is unscripted, right? So. Yeah, of course. <laughs> is that kind of like... That's perfect. Because okay. they come apart inside the thing anyway. Do you want a better knife than that? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look like something. This was my favorite knife like. until today. Until today. <laughs> <laughs> it, looked like it, it looked like it worked. So that's the, Oh, I got two. Of, you want two of these? Sure, I'll make two of them. We'll wow. put enough in the salad to make it happy. We'll all eat tonight for supper. Let me put this back over here for a second. Put some stuff in. Can I put these in now? Put them in. Okay. I see. They have like a little like, skin on the outside. That they're so fresh. I didn't notice. Usually when you get these in the supermarket, the outer skin is dry and you can really identify it. Exactly. But this must right be, be right from the ground. Yes. Can you steal your knife for Oh, something? sure, of course. It's always that. <laughs> wow. Can I get to sharpen this one? This really, this knife, this is a good knife. I knew that knife looked familiar. Two chefs, you got to do everything in, in double the time. Double time. <laughs> <laughs> then I cut it in half this way, and then I cut one, two, okay. So that's what I cut it in three times four. I say that six inch. I take the sixteenths. I cut them into sixteenths. That's what it really means. Okay. He's going to finish cutting that up. That's so fresh. I'm going to peel a cucumber because the cucumber's got to peel. You want to do the dining meals? 
I mean, sure. You want, yeah. you want them julienne or, or chopped? Uh, what do I say? Long, long them, ways? Or? If you cut them long ways and you cut them... Uh, in half after they're long. Exactly. Okay. That's chef, that's chef talk. You can tell we didn't go to the, <laughs> the CIA. <laughs> yeah, so just cut them down that way. Just like that, you cut them. Right. Pound them. You know what's great about him? He washes dishes faster than anybody ever done in my life. He did dishes the other night. We had dinner. And we'll forget about it. He got in the sink, blah, 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 blah. next thing I know, the dishes were done, and we're all happy. Saying, you didn't know they weren't clean. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can show them what I'm doing. Just taking my thumb and just pulling out the big pieces. You can kind of be rough with it. Just go like this. Give yourself plenty of room to work. If it falls on the floor, that's what they make brooms for. So. <laughs> I'm going to cut up the cucumber. The cucumber is easy. You did this a couple of times before, huh? Once or twice. Okay. <laughs> a little bigger, okay. Good. Is that good? It's yeah, good it's size? Good. That's perfect. Okay. This is almost done. What do we, we, we call this peasant cut, where I come what from. What do you call it? Peasant cut. Oh, peasant cut. Yes, this is peasant cut. Big, big pieces because back then they, they had rudimentary tools. That's right. And it's they didn't cut things very size. fine. Exactly. Okay, we're all done. I made a mess over here. That's all right. We can clean everything up. Everything up can be clean. It's a nice thing in life. So, the salad is put together. Now, what we have to add is the olive oil and garlic. Well, no, I mean, it's it. Put this into the camera. Get the camera's nose over here, right? Mm. Ooh, oh, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes really good too. We'll let it sit for another minute. Over here, no heat. Now we need to add salt. So. Kind of salt you use, though. This is diamond crystal kosher salt. S special properties to it. Special properties. I like it because it doesn't. It's not as salty as sea salt. Sea salt is a little too. Blah, 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 is a little too salty for me. This is not quite as salty, but it's it doesn't, a little bit. Doesn't gum up your mouth when you talk either. That's right. <laughs> this, this I like this too. And this is pepper. We use this. This is black pepper. And we put some of this on it too. There's a lot of vegetables in here, so you can add basically whatever you want to. And we have to add red pepper, despite what anyone tells us. <laughs> what, what does that do, in addition to the black pepper, what does that do to This adds a little zest to it, a little, little spice to it. Rounds yeah. it out a little bit. Yeah, and, and some basil. Now, we'll pick the basil up nicely. Would you wash this for me? That's all yours. You can wash that up, I'll cut it up, and use it. A cold water, shake yeah, cold. it out. Please. You want it fine, or do you want to just kind of peasant cut, or? Just one more shot. Just and one more round through. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm gonna put that into the salad. All right. He's done. Can we get the oregano? Oh, this one gets a little more oregano than everything else gets. Not a whole lot, but just enough. It's one of those salads that takes it. We we'll put this on top. To act as the dressing then. That's the dressing. And, and you have your herbs already in there. And Everything's spices. in there, and that's all we need. That's all we need. Then we mix it up. This is all mixed up, and now what this has to do, like everything else, it has to sit. Once it sits, the flavors are kind of developed and all work into each other. We'll all have a great time with this. One, two, three, a half a dozen. That's good. And just let them lay on top and give it a few minutes for those to melt down, and then we can serve the salad. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, well we finished making what we made. This is the enzalada. All finished, ready to go on the plate. And we're going to start feeding Larry because he helped out. We won't feed you until later. No, we'll feed you too. Mmm. Mmm. Texture's crispy and... Mm -hmm. mm. So, this is it. We hope. <clears throat> you should give it a try. I think you'll really, really like it. Everything in here is just fresh and it tastes so good. Buon appetito. Ciao. God bless you. Bye-bye.